Yo, what is going on guys? This is Shadow Dragon and welcome back to Doki Doki Window to Your Heart. This is episode 4 guys, so yeah, let's get going. The two of them run off towards the bowling, bowling area and Siori chases after them. Hold on, wait for me! Get left behind by our friends, god damn it. <laughs> we all arrived at the bowling alley out of breath. It would have been a nice walk, but no, they all decided to run instead. Siori and I probably should have, should have teased them that I wouldn't be strong to breathe right now. So, do we need any special shoes? No, uh, we, we just bowl. We take a minute to collect ourselves before speaking again. Alex, uh, my guy, you need bowling shoes? All right, let's register our names. Below, we have a game set up, but what do you know? I'm up first. Great. Go get him, Shadow. You realize I'm competing with you, right? It doesn't mean I can't wish you luck. Oh, that's adorable. I take a deep breath before picking up one of the balls. I noticed Sierra gave me a positive look. Are you going to take off your gloves? Actually, I don't know why I never asked until now. Monica and Alex silently fidget in their seats. I just hope they get quiet. I've got a condition I'm allergic to uh, touching stuff. Oh, I see. That's it to convince her. I pick up the ball and step up to the lane. I bring the ball up to my face and stare into its reflection, mentally preparing myself. Let's see why I'm potentially able to decide the lane to go to the ball. Do this! Ah, <sighs> got the ball, figures. I uh, see so you tried to shut up my victory chat. Maybe you need to shout it louder. <laughs> shut it, will you? I was close. He still have one more try. Don't give up. Yeah, what she said. I know you can do it, Shadow. We'll see about that. I gotta focus on one on the ball. This time, maybe I shouldn't go for a curve, but just a straight shot towards the middle. No, it has to be off center. That's how I'm gonna strike. I found myself to swing my arm at full force. That proves to be a bad idea. So let go to late the ball. Ends up flying through the air and lands in the gutter again. Man, I suck at regular bowling. I just stick to the Wii Sports one. Good times. That was a good attempt. The game just started to don't feel too bad. Monica steps up to lane, picks up a ball, and tosses it seemingly without thinking. She knocks down half of the pins. Wow, nice five. Let's go! See, Shadow, that's how it's done. Sure, she has to have another turn. And a spare. She has to play it forward. There's no rest of the first game. Hakey dakey, my turn. Don't laugh if I mess up, okay? I promise I won't laugh. Look, I'm not even crossing any of my fingers, so you know it's legit. Are you sure you're going to follow that rule? I'll try at least. Siri takes her time setting up her shot. As she swings her arm back, I catch a glimpse of her face. It's a look I haven't seen from her before. Determination, confidence, I'm not sure. Her eyes are narrowed as if in deep concentration. She has a slight smirk at the corner of her mouth. Looks like she knows exactly what she's doing. There's something charming about the way she looks now. I feel a slight pain in my chest when my breath quickens. Am I tired out from the run earlier? But I know it, she shot a shot. And the sound of pins falling down. Signal to strike. Okay, Siori, the bowling champion, guys. Let's go. Yay, did you guys see that? That was very impressive, Siri. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to top that. But she excitedly walks back to her seat. She glances over at me for only a second. She gives me a quick smile and looks away. It took a few minutes to realize, but I was smiling myself. This is what it's like to have fun. The pain in my chest becomes slightly stronger. Why am I feeling like this? Why is my chest hurting? All right, guys, proud to feel the pain. Old Alex is going to show you how it's done. Did you say that I played before? Yeah, but now I've absorbed all your skills by watching you play. I'm more ready now than I ever was. I stretches for a bit before picking up the board. It's like Siori's face only took on a look of determination. Takes a deep breath and... Alex! W what? Alex, you good? <laughs> Yo, that CG's nice. He slipped and fell straight on his ass. <laughs> also, we have blonde hair? What the flip? I guess we're not playing as MC. Oh. Man, I'd really love the CG. Siori and Bonnie could just like try not to laugh at Alex. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> I can't help you out while the others are laughing at its expense. I, uh, I, I really showed those pins off. Uh. Yeah, they looked pretty scared. That maneuver was. <laughs> you're still impressive. Monica, are you laughing at me of all people? No, not at all. I just had the hiccups, that's all. Well, let me tell you, if you were here with a bruised butt, you wouldn't be laughing. Even though it was pretty funny. You regret not wearing those shoes now? The three of us spent that moment just laughing. The rest of the alley looked at us like all crazy. We're just stupid kids having stupid fun. I wouldn't mind standing here forever, just the four of us. But like all fun moments. Bro, Alex, Alex, the way bowling shoes. You're an idiot. <laughs> it has to end sometime. That was great. Oh, to wait, me, Alex and Monica, goodbye. See you and I headed home. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, a lot more than I expected, even though I came dead lost. Hey, come on, you did pretty good too. You gotta to strike that one round. That is true. That was probably the highlight of my bowling career. Before we reached my house, the fort crossed my mind. So, Siori, what exactly did Bonnie could talk to you about? Okay, uh, honestly, it's not about business, but if Siori wants to tell us, sure. Like, someone's had a private conversation. That's not your business, man. Hey, that. 
she wanted me to join your club. So she pulled up already, huh? If you don't mind me asking, what was your response? I... I need to have to think about it. It's been so long and I... I don't know what I'm going to say to the others. I see. We don't have to make a decision now. It's like all the time you need, okay? Thanks, Shadow. I'm glad you are being too pushy on this. It means a lot to me that you care. I just try my best to be a good friend. I don't really have any of those to go around. We said it for a few seconds. Don't really say anything. Just looking at each other. I'm not sure why. I guess we just had nothing more to say. Oh, see you on Monday. Um, have a good weekend. He too, Shadow. See ya. That girl. I really wouldn't mind being friends with her. Suddenly my breath quickens again. I have to be sick or something. Yeah, I love sick. <laughs> Maybe it's the rest will clean up my system or something. I figured today would be too cold for a walk. But he doesn't seem to mind. We're seeing him smile now. I can't help but feel... Oh, Foster, man. I, I forgot your voice because I took a break to play Absolution. <laughs> you look well-rested today, Shadow. Anything out of the ordinary occur? Not necessarily. Well, yes, actually. Oh, do tell, please. Well, a lot's happened recently. I have a couple new friends and I took that advice of yours. I'm now finding recruits for our new club. That's great news, Shadow. You're finally taking major steps towards our goal. It was the least I could do until last year of high school and I don't think I could sleep well if I said no to getting Monica's friends together. Oh, hmm. Is there something you wanted to say? Can I let you on a little secret? Ah, uh, sure. Since I met you, I know it's a particular habit of yours. Every time you discuss a decision you've made, you tell me that you had nothing better to do. Well, like now, it was the least you could do. You're justifying making a decision not comfortable with as if you're trying to distance yourself from it. That's not... Do I really do that? It's the truth, though. Everything that's happening is to make someone else happy. I have no business participating in other people's personal problems, but it's something I really need. It really is the least I could do. Whether you agree with me or not, the choices you make are your own. You don't have to do anything for anyone else's sake, but you do anyways. It's because you do. It's because you care. Of course I care, it's just that you don't want things to end up like the last time, correct? What happened back then was out of your control. The way it ended wasn't your fault, it would have happened regardless. That's not true. I tried too hard to fix it and it blew up in my face. I banged to my hands and knees, humiliated myself. And for what? For her too. I can't think about this right now, there's something else I need to tell him. There's something else. Oh, I, I told my friends about my gift. I can't believe this. This is astounding news. How did it happen? What did they show? Did you tell your parents yet? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, I'll tell you. Just chill. I got really overwhelmed by the stuff they were throwing at me. It just came out. I don't know why, but I felt like I need to tell them. So, similar to what, to what happened to me, correct? Yeah, but this time I only touched that, so there's nothing left to believe in, so I didn't have to prove it any further. They... They didn't question it, strangely. They had way too much trust in me. Well, to be fair, think of the test. Like, you just described that someone put a love letter, letter in there. Not only that, you described the three people that did it, which is pretty impressive. Like, if it was just you saying there's a love letter in there, sure. But I mean, it was actually incredible. Well, they're your friends. Even though your ability is something straight out of the fiction, you still proved yourself. I am not surprised they have such faith in you. Well, they could have assumed I knew about deaths beforehand, but instead they just believed me. Perhaps they knew you weren't someone who would lie to them. Maybe. So, does this mean you will take up my proposition? I, I'm not sure. I don't really see the point of becoming some government lab rat. I would never let something like that happen. I have friends of any fields. I'm sure they could use some of your talents. Therapy would be something that might suit you, or police work that might interest you as well. That would require me to practice. It already hurts enough. I'm not sure if I'd be able to do it every day. Well, that's why, like you said, you'd have to build up resistance. It's very possible. You don't have to make a decision now. I just don't want to see your ability go to waste. I'm not sure if being a famous psychic would be an enjoyable life. That's not really my thing. I'd rather be some unknown guy to whatever he wants about the press or pop or auntie down his throat. That's where someone else had his power, so I actually cared. Yeah, I can see you, right? I can see a way of thinking, man. All right, I'll think about it. That's not a yes in case you're wondering. I'm just saying it so you don't keep asking. <laughs> I guess I'll leave you alone now. Here's your note. I hope you have a good day at school. Thanks. I'll see you next time. All right, Foster sounds like a pretty cool guy, man. Oh, how long this episode been? Oh, barely nine minutes. Let's get going then. By the time I arrived, our first class already ended. Yo, I got so many to discuss before the next class, of course. I wonder if it's going to be about. Yeah, it's about the club. You probably already guessed that, huh? I had a sneaky position, suspicion. Alright, we're on the same page now. So it's about the other two girls. 
Want to control me? She asked Siri about the club, but she didn't give a de de definitive yes, so she's a no go for now. However, we still got the other two we need to ask. Don't you think it's a little too soon for that? Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but I was thinking since Monica already asked Siori and her answer wasn't a no, maybe they'll be the same way. She did seem like she enjoyed her chat with Monica. They still seem like good friends, so maybe you're right. You should know by now that I'm always right. <laughs> Anyways, when you decide who to ask, you got a specific girl you like more? I don't have a favorite, but... Huh, I guess I'll ask Natsuki. I'll ask Natsuki. I'm sure you'll at least consider it. Sounds good. I'll be on future lunch tray I went. Alright, I'll see you then. Man, I love Alex. Alex is a f Alex is amazing. Please be more mods. <laughs> After waiting for the next class to end, I found the girl I was looking for. Alright, that's good. Correction, I bumped into her. Man, we really need to stop bumping into Natsuki. You again, huh? I, uh, we should probably stop being like this. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. You're lucky I wasn't carrying anything this time. Yeah, I'm sorry about that again. So, what are you up to? Just gonna look for something to do. They might have unlocked the room, so I'll probably be up there for this period. Just that idea pops in my head. Well, if you're looking for something to do, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. It's a place that I have in mind if you wouldn't mind following me there. Normally, I'd be a bit creeped out, but since you're not a complete stranger, I guess it's okay. So, in order for it to be considered not a complete stranger to Natsuki, all you have to do is bump into her twice. Got you guys. Got it. Don't, you, don't try anything, or you wish you'd ever wake up this morning, alright? I'll take your word on that one. Come on, it's over this way. This is a club room. Well, the club room. What are you... That's such a... That's such a dick move. I can see the moment you realize where we were. Like, all the memories came flooding back in a single moment. This... This is... If I could say anything more, I hear the door of the club room opens as well as some voices. So, this is the place. Uh, club room, why are we... Oh, uh, Yuri? Natsuki? Uh, Alex, what are you two doing here? I figured I'd show the club room, you know, to commit her. I guess you had the same idea. Alright, before I'm able to speak out, the door opens. Uh, Alex, Shadow, what are you two doing here? And this is bad, there's no way I can get any more. Monica, would you want to shave me? It just got worse. Oh, they're all here, huh? I guess I'll just take a step back, or two, or maybe three, or jump out the flipping window. As soon as you're the room, Alex uncomfortably squirmed his way back to the back. Maybe I should do the same. This is... Is that... Siori? There it is again. The overwhelming silence. This seems to happen a lot with these girls. Everything stands so still. One of them meets the other. I feel so out of place. This isn't my reunion to share. I shouldn't even be here. I'm going to leave Alex. For a moment of emotion to Alex, that's who he speaks up. Monica, is this some sort of joke? I can assure you I had no idea you guys would... After all this time, after everything that's happened, you set this up, didn't you? I didn't know, really. This is supposed to be between Siri and I. Don't you act like... Natsuki! What? You're acting extremely unreasonable. Why can't you just be like her and say calm about this? Excuse me, why would I want to be like her? And you of all people want to give me advice? Give me a break. Guys, I I don't know why you're so upset. She didn't do anything to you. She's not the one who's made me so pissed. It's all his fault. His fault, huh? She's got to be talking about MC, right? So he is in this universe? We're definitely not MC because we have blonde hair. That must be why we have blonde hair and not, we're not MC, because MC is actually in the game. Please, just stop! So serious song was enough to end the argument. The, the room is so quiet, I can hear the pitter patter of her tears in the floor. I, I... She can barely make sense of break down to more tears, so I can do a center and watch her cry. I just want to speak up to fix everything, so I won't have to see Siri cry anymore. But I can't. Even though I, I want to, I just can't force myself to make the words come out. It's all my fault. Everything was my fault. What do you mean, my fault? When I, because I, after everything happened, the club broke down, I ruined our friendships, I've only been a friend with everyone, and I probably shouldn't have come back to school, but I can't do anything to fix that. All I can say is that I'm sorry. Alright, don't say anything, let them work it out. I, I don't know how much about what happened, but I know that that isn't true. It isn't your fault, these things just happen. Shadow, but it, it's all because of me, or would it be better off never meeting me? That's not true. I... I'll be your friends. I wouldn't mind at all. What are you doing? You, you don't mean that. But I do. Since I met you, I... Don't say it. I know now how much the four of you meant to each other. I usually avoid situations like this, but... Stop it. Just shut your mouth. Since you're all here, this is the best time for you to talk through things. I won't say anymore, but Siori, none of this is your fault. <sighs> He's right, Siori. It wasn't your fault. We just... 
We neglected our friendship. We only focused on ourselves because that was the best way we could cope. We ourselves are the reason we drifted apart. It wasn't due to you. Guys, they're at Siori. If anything, I'm the one who should be blamed here. If I had to guess, um, Siori was um tried to commit suicide, which is why um the club broke up. That's just my theory. It makes a lot of sense. And it would explain why not Suki's pissed at MC, because he neglected Siori's feelings. So that's what I'm going to go with. I tried pushing the club into everyone else, but like the, that was the best way to repair the damage, but it only made everyone more stressed. So I should be the one apologizing, not you. I've been waiting for that, Monica, for a very long time. There, there are a lot of things I want to tell you, none of them good, but since Yuri's here, I guess I can let it go for now. For the record, Monica, I don't blame you for anything. I just accepted the fact that things were over between us like Shadow said it just happened. We were all worried about you, Siri, after, well, after he told us the news. We wouldn't visit you every day. We didn't want to see anyone, even if you don't think so. We all care about you deeply. Nothing would ever be able to change that. She's right. We never invented you or anything. You're too important to us. I agree. We all love you, Siri. I, I'm really glad to hear that. I love you all too, which is why. I'll do it, Monica. I'll join the club. Club? What club? That's right. I was planning on bringing it up with you two. We're putting together the literature club on last time for graduation. We'll be doing more than poetry. It's all about having fun. I want all of us to get together for one more year. I didn't want us to drift apart on such a sour note. I'd really appreciate it if you joined. I really want this to be the best senior year ever. And it wouldn't be the same if you two weren't a part of it. Are they going to say no? This discussion seems to be not a good story, so what about two of them? I know it's their both eye child. I probably decided what would be the best answer. Natsuki, I know we don't exactly see eye to eye. I know we've both been hard on each other this past year. But I think this would be good for us, at least for this year. We should put aside our differences and just enjoy spending time together. Fine. But don't think this means I've forgiven you just yet. We've still got a lot to talk about. Yay, I'm so excited. It really means a lot to me that you would all do this. I felt it was an easy decision to make, but I promise it'll be worth it. I'm surprised everyone came to an agreement so quickly, but this means it's official. The literature club has now been formed. Hell yeah, let's go. What do you say, president? What do we do next? Wait, he's the president? That's correct. I figured a new face would be best for the revival of the club. Well, this is it. I'm really the president of a club. What do I do next? What do I say? Looks like the next class about Stardust should probably get over with. Our first meeting will be tomorrow. For now, I want you to focus on their studies. Dismissed. Sure thing, President. Let's go, girls. I wish you would stop saying it like that. Thanks, Shadow. I mean it. She doesn't need to thank me. I was just... No, remember what Foss said. This decision I made. I don't have to justify it. This is what I wanted. That went better than expected, huh? We actually managed to quit set to join on the spot. Yeah, but we start to see how well they'll be able to work together. This. They haven't spoken to each other for ages. Still, we did really good. I'm glad the girls are actually going to give each other a chance. I think this is going to be a hell of a senior year. I can't wait to see what kind of stuff you'll come up with. I'll definitely think of something fun, probably. Well, I guess we should head back to class. I don't want to miss those valuable lectures. Valuable lectures? <laughs> Even though it still happens so fast. Probably for the best. No, Foss is going to have a field trip when he finds out about I haven't thought much about it until now, but it's probably a lot I have to plan for. Why is it on auto tax? There's spring break, study session activities. Yeah, no, it's a lot to think about. I'm not even clicking the screen. Bro, auto text ruined my flow. Screw you. I can't wait to see what the future has in store. That glitching effect says otherwise. I checked my phone looking for a text. I'm waiting for a call. Then I remember. Then I remember. It will never come. The heck? What does that mean? Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. If you enjoyed... Please like, subscribe. See you guys next one. Peace out.